Hey there, this is Akshan Madan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last part, we had seen for loop and you understood the importance of looping statements in any programming language, right? So, in this video, we are going to explore the while loop. We are going to see the syntax of while loop, right? So, the significance of a while loop is same. It works as a for loop and the, the use case of while loop is also the same that whenever you want to like repeat some task again and again, we have to use looping statements and one is while loop right like for loop right so first of all i'm going to write a void main function and we're going to use that same hello world example and then we are, i'm going to show you an advanced example right using while loop right so in void main first of all in while loop what we have to do in for loop what we were doing in for loop we were defining our index uh, i equal to in integer i equal to zero or one and then i had to define the endings part like the destination right hundred and I was saying I plus plus. This was the part. Now let's comment it. And let's try to clone it for while loop. In while, when I define my while like this, I don't need to write all these three statements over here. In while, what we do is we outside the while loop itself, we have to define the starting value of the iterator, right? Iterator is my i. So i int i equal to one. Define outside itself. In the while, you have to define your one single condition, right? The global single condition you have to define. So while my i is less than equal to 100, this is my condition, right? Try to understand it. Unless and until my i is greater than 100, I want to run the uh, upcoming statements, right? So while i is less than equal to 100, then curly brackets, what I want to do? I want to say print hello world with a semicolon. But this is going to go inside infinite loop because i equal to 1, i less than equal to 100. Okay, this is true. Print this, print this, print this. Because I am not incrementing my i. My i is never going to become 2, 3, 4. It is always going to remain 1. So I also need to increment my i. So after printing, say i plus equal to 1 or you can say i plus plus right or you can say in simple simple terms i equal to i plus one that's what i want to say now after printing every hello world it is going to increment my i right and let's also run it and you can see my hello world is printed right now what i want to show you is Let's take an, a harder example of factorial of a number, right? What is a factorial? What is a factorial of five? So if I have to find a factorial of five, then factorial of five is what? Five into four into three into two into one. So five, it starts from five, it goes till one. And what are the product is? That's my result, right? And it can be 10, then it is going to start from 10, right? and is going to go till one. So this is going to be my result. So this is the basic fundamental behind factorial. And now let's try to find a factorial of a number using while loop in Dart language, right? So what I'm going to do is let me remove everything. And let's say I, uh, in outside the main function, I define a function, uh, not void. It is, it is going to be an integer. It is going to return me an integer. And this is called factorial of a number and it takes a number n, right? It takes a number n. In this function, what happens is I want to find a result, right? I guess factor, yeah, that's correct. So now what I'm going to do is I, first of all, what we have to do, we have to define our iterator, right? So my iterator, it is going to start from n. As you know, if I'm finding factorial of 10, then my loop or my statement starts from 10 itself. So i equal to n right while so what is the base condition what is the final condition till unless and until i'm reaching one right so while i is greater than or equal to one so till the part i am above one i want to do the further statement as soon as i reach below one i want to break so while i am above one what do you have to do also need to you have to define product int product equal to one I want to say product is equal to product into i. And finally, 
i equal to i minus 1 right so in every loop it is going to update my product and then it also decrements i by 1 and finally i can return my product right and over here i can say hey my n equal to let's say 5 or 4 or 5 and i want to print what i want to print factorial of my n this is correct i hope this is correct format it and run it 120 so 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is 120 i can pass 10 i can run it and it is going to compute the factorial of 10 now if you want to see it in a more better way then what you, what you can do is after for every uh, uh, the while condition you can print my i you can print this i also run it <coughs> so you can see for 10 it starts from 10 and it goes till 1 then it finally prints my result so this is how while loop works right i hope you are clear with while loop and for loop perfect so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot